Yeah, my name's Jimmy Frank Jabrula. I'm, I'm Warmung Aranda. Warmung from my father's side and Aranda from my mother. I grew up in Tannen Creek. Now I, I work at the, at Ninkinunu, I work as a cultural liaison officer. I do a whole range of things and one of the things I work with my elders in the community with, with traditional dancing. And also I do a bit of carving, you know, with, with the fellas that do a bit of art. Carving from boomerangs to spears to coolermans to stone knives. I oh, pretty much do everything, yeah, traditional artifacts. Yeah, I was 19 and well, most of my early, early, early childhood I grew up at Bush. Yeah, I, I just see my dad go out hunting and collecting artifacts and stuff like that and watched him carve and and he, he used to make me boomerangs and stuff like that and sm small spears as I grew up. I just started off making boomerangs and from, went to clapping sticks and kudrus and and spears and it kind of took off from there. So we got a, we got a range of wood that we use around here. So we got mulga, snappy gum, ironwood, uh, dogwood, uh, corkwood. So yeah, all depends what you're making. And then you, as I was growing up, you know, I, I was very lucky to be around with family member that is very strong in, in culture. I reckon as an as an Aboriginal person, it's it's important to to practice your culture. It, it, it makes who you are, although I would say, just making boomerangs. It's really something that, as an Aboriginal person, culture gives you your identity. Don't have the elders or, or experience of someone that taught your culture. <clears throat> you can always be a part of a culture that still exists. Really proud and I'm very thankful for being a part of that. <laughs> <laughs>